So we got our gateway here. The ball obviously has to get between those. So instead of me and my hands this time, instead of a cone that you can throw it over, we got two chairs. Again, we're talking about passing. Somebody tell me what's the first thing we're looking to do when the screen comes. Take your man away, perfect. I gotta take my man away and line him up, all right? Second thing, after I go off his shoulders, how many dribbles? Two dribbles and where do I wanna go? To the middle, absolutely, all right? So look, once I hit his shoulder and he rolls, I'm gonna go one, two. All right, so coach is actually the hedger. Somebody uh, play defense on me, anybody. So you're setting the screen. I took my man away. You're setting the screen on Fred. All right, so Ian's gonna be rolling here. But Fred's man stayed on me. One, two. Right, so instead that of traditionally hitting that pick and roll pocket that we do all the time when we practice, now we're actually gonna drag our guy out. He's playing excellent defense. So what do I wanna do when I get to this spot that I just told you guys to get to? A jump stop, guys. This is very important. A lot of you guys were coming, making an okay pass, and just running, and you finishing the play way over here. I'm doing a jump stop because we have all day. Two things. First one's kind of obvious, I hope. Why are we throwing it as hard as we can? So the defender doesn't come and get it. Yeah, which defender? The other uh, eight people that are on the court, right? We got offensive players on our team and they all have somebody guarding them. So we gotta make sure we get that ball there as quick and hard as we can so that we don't allow people to rotate and jump into the passing lane. Okay, the second thing is, why are we coming to a jump stop here? Who knows? I'll give you guys the elite answer. The elite answer is when I come to a jump stop, I have the ability to do what? move either pivot foot. I can choose pivot feet. So I can say, okay, this is my pivot, or I can say, this is my pivot. But for you guys, coach is bigger than you, and a lot of times if players are gonna be switching on the guard, it's gonna be a big, tall guy on you. So which foot do I actually wanna use as my pivot to get around coach? My right foot, my inside foot. I wanna rip through and get around them to be able to make my pass. If I have an open stance, they're not gonna call this foul. I'm just gonna be off balance and the ref is gonna call a travel or there's gonna be a turnover. Come to a jump stop, take your time, think about what you're doing. Okay, what foot is my pivot? In this case, it's gonna be the right foot, okay? If we were going corner and I said reverse pivot, we would go here, stepped around them. You guys see that? So there's a lot of intricate footwork that we gotta learn that goes along with passing. This is the basics. All right, let's try again. Thread the needle between the two chairs, right foot as your pivot. Go.